Blessings, everybody. I just wanted to jump on really quick to give you an, a word that the Lord has impressed in my spirit. Look, guys, we need to be careful by what we are listening to and what we are watching. We need to understand that literally our eyes are the portals to our soul. So what we are looking at, we are ministering to ourselves. Not only that, but I want to give you some Bible. So the word says in Romans 10, 17, so faith comes from hearing that is hearing the good news about Christ. So we learn by hearing, by receiving this word, by listening to what I just read to you in Romans 10, 17, is that literally our faith is built by what we hear. So this is why, you know, some of you have probably heard about what kind of music are you listening to and that it's important to be careful. Why? Because faith is built by what we hear. The more we hear something, the more that we're going to listen to it and buy into it. And so, you know, it's funny. I'll give you an example. I know a lot of us in this season, as we're in quarantine, we're in a crisis, guys, in a pandemic. We're struggling. You know, depression has been sent out by the enemy. And I know a lot of us have been experience, experiencing sadness, you know. And so you hear these thoughts. And by accepting these thoughts these feelings that come up, we are trained in condition. I was telling one of my disciples, we are trained in condition to believe that everything we feel and everything that we think is us. But I have said this before and I'm going to say it again. Guys, the enemy will throw darts in your spirit, throw darts in your mind and make you feel things that are not even yours. Have you ever, have you ever been there where out of nowhere you're like, man, like, why do I feel like this? And you don't even know why you're crying. You don't even know why you're upset. You don't even know why you're frustrated. And so that's a red flag, guys, that you don't have to accept it just because you're experiencing it. Because the devil is a liar and he knows how to talk to you in first person. And so what am I getting at is that in these times, guys, we need to be careful by what we're listening to because we need to understand that what we hear is feeding our faith. What we hear is ministering our spirit, our soul. And so it is crucial that we are being cautious of that, that we are being cognizant of that, and we are utilizing this fact in order to enhance ourselves to build ourselves rejuvenate our souls refresh our mind renew our mind amen so look guys faith comes by what you hear so what are you listening to are you listening to things that are just increasing your lust issue that are making you want to be more sexually immoral are you listening to things that just build up that che that chisme that that gossip what what is it that you're listening to you know, and then check this out. We listen to these things, right? So then when someone comes with the truth, when someone comes with the word from God, when someone gives you Bible, then all of a sudden you're like, mm, I don't know about that. Why? Because your faith is already attached to the garbage that you've been listening to. Your faith has already been attached to the lies you've been listening to, the the bad feelings, the thoughts that were not even yours. So I'm here to to just bless you with this truth, to bless you with this word and encourage you. And I want to pray for you because there's a lot of you that are watching right now that are going through things that it, it, you're experiencing thoughts and feelings that are not even yours. So right there where you're at, I want you to lift up your hands out of faith. You know what? That means I surrender, Lord. You know what? When the cops come at you, they say, put your hands up. Why? That's symbolizing surrender. So right there where you're at, I want you to lift up your hands and I'm going to pray for you. Lord Jesus, I cover my brother and my sister watching. I cover them with the blood of Jesus from the crown of their head to the bottom of their feet. Father, I release your word, God, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. Although the weapons formed, they will not prosper. Father, I speak to their spirit right now. I speak to those thoughts, those lies from the enemy, God, all those things that were ministering to their spirit, God, and with the power you've given me under delegated authority. I, I bind it right now. I bind all those things in Jesus mighty name. I bind depression. I bind anxiety. I bind those lies. I cut all lying tongue from them in Jesus mighty name. And Father God, I ask that you loose from heaven your spirit of joy. I ask that you loose from heaven your word, your revelation inside their spirit, God. Father, I pray that right there where they're at, right there while they're watching, Father God, that they feel your Holy Spirit, God. A word is just a word until we act upon it. So I'm acting upon it, releasing it. And I pray they experience your power. They experience your love. Holy Spirit, I ask that they feel your counseling. God, I pray that they feel your peace right there where you're at. Man, the Lord is giving you peace right now. 
Thank you, God, for your peace that surpasses all understanding. Father, I pray, Lord Jesus, that they are encouraged. Amen. 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 Guys, I love you. I bless you. And, and for those of you that 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 are watching that you might have you might have you know at one point known God or you do know God but you straight away you feel unworthy you feel guilty you feel like the things you've done has separated you from the love of God you know that's the enemy trying to keep you from God. And I, I, I want you to be reconciled with Jesus today. I want you to repair that relationship that God is calling for your life. Because I'm telling you right now, God is the only way. Jesus is the only way to the Father. God is the answer. And so... Or maybe you're watching and you've never accepted Jesus. No one, even though you've been to church, no one has ever taught you that the Bible says in Romans 10, 9, that you must confess out loud that Jesus is your Lord and your Savior and believe it with all of your heart. So if, if you want to accept Jesus right now, or if you want to reconcile your relationship with God right now, I want you to say this prayer with me with all of your heart. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin and I acknowledge you as my Savior. I confess you as my Lord and my Savior. And I ask God that you reveal to me your fatherhood. Lord Jesus, I pray that you write my name in the book of life. So that way when it's my time, I will meet with you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 All right, guys. So if you did this prayer with me, I would love it if you just put a, a heart emoji in the comment section so that way I could follow up with you because this is the beginning of a process and I want to encourage you along the way because I was there and, and I know that God is giving me that privilege to take you by the hand and help you so I love you I bless you watch what you're listening to guys mm -hmm.